spin things around, and I've got to look at a player who turned around and contributed so much. Bacon, I'm unemployed. And that was Ness, a new addition to the team. You're funding me. And she was so good in that finals. The clutch demon of guild always coming away one uh one v twos one v threes be able to beat down those G2 that's true players. And that is true away from kindness okay let's check this out potentially a last map of this uh c9 on defense guild on attack berlin if you want guild to have a chance to get back in this one c9 pretty much with the uh this is the most meta comp at the moment this is the one that has the highest pick rate in the house Never mind. <laughs> oh, but C9's got some too. Here we go. Guild X bursting out onto the C site. And what's the idea from C9? Because there's so much mid presence from him. Yeah, and they've done their Keep an eye on this. Boxy this is going to be interesting. To mid. She might hear some of this as well as all four players four up. Spotted, right? Race saw this. I think Jazzy just might have. Yeah, awareness there. Paranoia through Roxy. Hey. Good amount of time was done from this as well. They played double garage, but they're a little bit isolated. I'm, a, I'm kind of worried because if the fade swings this. have a pinch back in. Will it be enough? Absolutely. Two for two on the trade, but Claudia making a play forward. A big kill onto Alexis. Okay, Bob has to one on two. One versus three. Caught ready. That'll find the reveal onto Claudia, but time is ticking. Bob needs this kill now, and it's just barely eluding her two bullets. Need to tap, need something now, need something quick, and we'll no the first kill. There's still a pull available. This round is just not going to be possible. It's Ness to win things out for Guild. I mean, nice shots at the end, but nice from Guild. Roxy stopped a good amount of time, and the garage push, um, the garage push, uh, the person at window, as we can, and again, this is like perfect world analysis, but as we can see, the person at window had to peek first before they went through the door. Obviously, they don't know that no one's... Uh, so in window really holding so. into this second round c9 really threw a curveball towards guild i think they did a good job at trying to react a little bit to that pinch into garage continually sending players forward right this was not a scared guild this yeah all of my vods are there teams died, pushing into two players at least they in should garage, be absolutely no fear none at all cloud nine though high goes in towards short fakes well so Dangerous stack over towards down. c I wonder if after this contact, let's look at the minimap. Let's see, where do we go? What's the cause on this? That was a nice first kill. You gotta say, Guild, they're not just trying to win round two, they're trying to win round three. Claudia had a Phantom, that goes over to Roxy now. And they had three Bulldogs. Chat, the Guild just not play Chamber. To try and be Which able means to that they'll have a big three. buff when uh, just it gets a super nerfed. In well, in, if the nerf's big enough. For the peak. Teleport ready. Mel spotted. One. Only one shot. And she won't be given the chance to take that one. Actually, no smoke going to heaven in this one. Instead, instead just that smoke towards Okay, they managed to get into the site. Yeah. Yeah, Ness, uh, you sometimes what do we got for retake? You can't actually get double smokes uh, off I mean, we have full util. Uh, fade's going towards heaven, so maybe the lineup for the eye that goes here. Or are we just sending it into the corner? Wait, nice combo. Nice combo. Okay, we still have the eye to get out. Fights to massive from the bulldog in heaven. Cloud nine need to drop out. Alexis and Jazzy. 15 HP. They've, They've done it. What? Nade. Jazzy gets an extra kill. They the actually court. retake it with the eco. It just the eco. Happen. Someone drop her a gun. Her Is there a gun the to get? By nice. They pick up double rifle. Holy hell. Just when you think that Guild might have a chance into this one, it, it gets completely taken away. They now have the eco and uh, C9 gets such a boost from that, saving two guns as well. That's crazy. Seely is a seal with the prime free mumps in the slug club. Thanks so much, dude. Appreciate the support. Thanks for that. Sixty percent of the four v fives. That was a nice retake, that nice combo over right towards there. heaven. It's um, the eye rifles. was good. On everything, everything was good like, about this. Like literally, everything was good about this. Or stingers, anything like this. No, Cloud Nine White just are better, just simply better. And now, 
on the Eco Guild will work up towards Akatsumi, who is just the solid C anchor for Cloud9 White. She is always managing to get multi kills. I don't know. When players work in here, she loves to they feel a little bit boomed. And, and um, I kind of, when you when you lose 13, you lose 13 3, you win a pistol and then get four Eco on the retake. I get it. But when she's put in these positions to thrive, She's always good for it. This round, though, it's not headed towards Katsumi, at least initially. Just this pressure in mid, but opportunity to split C late if that's what Guild wants to do. Flashing into Garage. Bob almost quick enough to turn away from that flash. Very near on that one. Guild still haven't really made good up pressure across the map. Really hoping Cloud9 they get Roxy into the corner, and fight. now we're going to try and end up so A. Hot Chicken 11 with uh, the Prime as well. Three months in the Slug Club. Thanks so much, Hot Chicken. Appreciate that. I'll put some slugs in chat for you. Let's check if this shot. No armor, so we can have some body shots into this. Dude, why do I think she had a marshal? Location revealed. I mean, Spike is late. Ten seconds. If they can deny this now, if there's any utility, Naden, can that stop the plant? Ness is holding, and she'll be able to get this one through. It all comes in at the end, but the rest of Cloud9 that was crazy. Side, nothing doing for Guild in that situation. Cloud9 take their second, as should be the case. Not not Guild, too bad for Guild in terms of, of that the eco, though. When, when they play, they on a map kill two and they got the plant down. So much for rude. Yeah. Because Alexis plays our we have a breach or so this, yeah, this I was is, uh, is, is catching players as they push forward. Mel's just nine. laughing. Mother. Yeah, she's just laughing, and, and they're not giving the fight. <laughs> so long for those. Really they just never happened. Because Cloud Nine held their ground and, and play these retakes perfectly. You can always tell when Cloud Nine is confident. When you okay, there's a few, there's, there's a few ults that are getting close. Defensive breach, all like we said, really heavy. Look at this, three person over towards. They're really thinking a C is going to happen very early in this game. They've been stacking it pretty heavy. Yeah, the classic Mel is play. Oh my Mel, you're crazy. Chris, what are you doing? For a long time, though, Mel gets out with 11 HP. Pick of choice on this map has to play that anchor towards A as the rest of her team leaning very heavily into B. And keep your eyes on Roxy. She's been able to sneak up into Cubby outside of B two rounds in a row. But the clear from Bob is perfect. Bob has just this uncanny ability of smoke. knowing the timings. The Tell me the smoke comes in before the turn around the corner. She is on, but when she is in the scout role, the perfect. fade or the Sova, she is constantly. They wait for the shot. They go in. They spotted the trip on towards short. Okay, another retake. Let's look at this duel between the Rays and the Killjoy in middle at one point. Oh boy, let's not look at that because we've got a fast retake. We've got the orb over towards long. Okay, that was the duel I was talking about. Raze wins it out. That's a big shot. What's the retake like? Good omen flash. Hey, this is a good trade off for of Util right now. There's been a few attempts at a retake. We have a nade, but we have no tether this time. A little hard to retake with two playing up towards heaven, but they're really counting on the utility. It's not a C. Oh my it's god. <laughs> Dude. Anya. That's another paint shell kill, but oh, Let's wait. finds two kills out from heaven. Ness walks it down one versus one. Bob above dropping in from high. What? Find it somehow. What is that Bob shot? Is unbelievable. No shot. What is that shot? Bob. <laughs> Can you believe it? Impossible dropping down from heaven, but deciding not to go fully down, jumps onto the box, doesn't want to break the legs. You could see that the call came in for the HP because she was so focused into the box that uh, she was going to drop. So she knew Bob was low HP. That is gross. It's not a bird. It's not a plane. What is that? Okay. Uh, Moonshopper can't believe it either. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is that? My job's so easy. I got this. I got this player on my team. Her name's Bob. She Pretty just sort good. of wins me rounds sometimes. Gotta love it. <laughs> and C9 straight back to Sometimes it's just not your day, chat. Grass, excuse me. And it's looking so like for one. guilt. <laughs> What do you that? Like, There's no way Gil that hits. Get absolutely shut out on Fracture. Now they're trying to make a quick play in. Eco, it's a nice C hit knives. with the uh, low buy. Jet. What can she accomplish? Not much. With Alexis coming around the corner. Actually, it's going to be a 2K. Wait, oh, good damage. The top, it's three, two versus two now. And Claudia has a chance, but Bob is just better. 
She pulls out the sheriff, swings for more, and has the one tap. But Bob's a psychopath. She's just popping, swinging into the backside. She does not care. <laughs> Bob, Bob, Bob. Remember the name. It'll be one you're going to hear for a ten long, kills, long time. Zero in deaths. Five rounds, four assists. Fade ults back up. Guild have to time out. I think that's two per round. I'm pretty good at math. And, uh, she <laughs> that's a good long at division. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's just splitting them apart right there. The confidence to go for this peak, by the way. <laughs> Mel can't believe it. I, I yeah, we just had the coach react. Now we have the IGL react like, damn. My job is easy. I've got this player on my team called Bob. Sometimes she just wins me rounds. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's all fun and games for C9, but for Guild, you can see how much those last two rounds hurt. They very reasonably could have won both of those, if not for Bob. Back to back hero plays for Cloud9. Yeah, I mean, Smurf at that round. Let's let, that was that was a thrifty. You fight. thought she was out of it. Gets three yeah. kills immediately after. Insane. And it, it, it was two kills, sort of spinning around, playing logs to garage, and then updrafting with two players backside and still finding one. So yes, Cloud9 White. Uh, what is that? <laughs> I'm just to dip, four yeah. in terms of it's animated. Today. That's a show. But you have these moments from Guild where they are showing brightness, where they are showing an ability to fight back, and now heading in to this sixth round, they've got three okay. giant I mean, ultimates to play off Look at these ults. I would not be surprised to see them really commit all. We do have Bob's ult, but this is a lot. See what that decision is coming. This is far, one of the best chances. It's consistently been play this slow default, get Roxy in a position mid where she can find this late round lurk and then execute towards A. But Roxy's lurks have not been able to find effect on this map thus far. No, I mean the scouting. Lancelele, oh, thanks so much, dude. 14 months. Damn, dude. Thanks for the support. Appreciate using your prime on me. From C9 towards this A site. This setup, right? This is normal. Mel is often taking this angle, but everyone else is tucked. It's almost a trap to be activated off of Mel leaving. And, and I think that this is the perfect read from Cloud9 White, okay. right? Uh, again, the way Guild are set up, like these ultimates, they want to work into the A site. That's why Roxy's setup is just. They've just owned them here, C though, because back to back rounds, they played with Mel corners, playing solo over corners. towards A. They show Mel the presence, TP away, they see the TP they call, and they just think that they're going to be playing further back on the site, but in fact there's two people playing close over towards short. C9 are all over them. Aim-wise and just outbraining them. It's just an overall death. So C9 have the call, we step forward, we fight guild before they can take any space past lobby. You gotta love the idea from C9, and now they've fallen completely off of C, they've shrunk their position down. This is one of the, the best things you can do when you have a big numbers advantage like this. Up three players for C9 is they give up all the space on the map. C site doesn't matter. Allow Guild to plant. Instead, make it impossible for Guild to find any fights that cannot be traded. And look at Jazzy, another angle. How many times has she repositioned, found a new location, that's spike, a new that's kill time. this round? They can hunt. so mobile in the mid round, and a lot of that credit does go to Mel. If you watch her player camera when we're spectating her, there's not once that she stops. <laughs> not, not even any She's kind of exit frags to do some to damage as well. Just making a change, no nothing. No kills into this one. Money's going to be booming. Definitely need some armor rebought, but that's about so it. Some Uto was used. Any of them, but you can just control how that. the entire Look. game plays. That was nasty. We didn't get to see that shot initially, but <laughs> Mel's on one. Mel's on one. Uh, so is Jazzy, by the way, a 4K left. to finish things off. And they look confident on this map, though. Snappy one there for Cloud9. So Guild, what is it gonna be? Not much of a buy to work with. Again, those three ultimates still help uh -oh. out too. Combo into but middle, we don't have a swing though, so it's fine. Ooh, they do send the paint shell through anyways. I think they were maybe trying to wait and see if they saw that tether line mm. on the seas before committing that one, but go for it regardless. Oh my goodness. Sun for Anya here. As he will be caught by it. I'm not allowed to repeat here, and Kat could be in a bit of trouble. Is what that is Omen? That? So we teleport out if she needs to. Damn, they use I'm so sorry. much util that Omen. Um, they got the Omen flash. Yes, and this is actually pretty good for Guild like right now. Idea. This is really good. Keep, uh, Roxy has a timing. She has a gap in this one. Has your surf oh, bot no, missed the shot. Low HP. Is so aware, though. Cloud9 always know when they're leaving a gap and are ready to take care of it. Guild, though, want to continue pushing here. Hold on. Guild have B-Sight, but the spike is in their spawn. Oh, no one has spike it. is... And I didn't even look over here. Wait, was it them that did this last time on Icebox? Or Ness to try and recover this looping all oh, the way chat. back into spawn. There They're losing. Arm. They're losing their mind. Potentially be running into, but this creates a very strange situation where Guild hold on to the positioning in B. C9 White are waiting for. They are losing their mind. I swear. On this retake, 
It allowed. <laughs> This is the LEC studio, but we're not allowed to my say that. No. My, my bad, my bad. So uh, abilities, left. utility, any Thank of these you. types of things. No wizard character in Valorant yet. Rob Wiz. He's in the tournament, coaching Shopify. <laughs> we'll talk about that one later. Plant is down okay. for guild, and Ness has a pretty big kill here on Dejazikins. This That's is a massive kill. Start, That's a massive oh, kill. Oh, okay, they hold on to garage. They three-person push. Wow, they actually... Well. It's fine. It's and, exactly and honestly... What the EMEA first seed needs only Guild two left. Never needed, <laughs> never needed a win more, especially when the spike was down as well. That could be, that could be so frustrating. Damn. How many times do we have to keep telling you about these two players? Absolutely insane. We are waiting for them to show up. Mel now forced to sprint away. What a strange round with the spike being abandoned for so long. But it is Ness, the clutch factor in these big matches. She is always there for Guild. And will be the leader they need if they want to challenge C9. Yeah, they can't give away any more. They just don't want it. They only want to do it. All the guild care about right now is nice run from Guild in the end. We'll ignore the spike uh, being dropped because they managed to win it out. But I imagine they would have tilted out of control <laughs> losing around like that. Some nice shots with the. Not even a 50 50 fight. The one against the Spectre. But goes for it regardless. Gotta love that. Spectre Spectre's kind of unreal. In Ness's hands, and deals Bob's first death of the match. There. The first step for Guild here. I and we'll Molly close. That's a lot of pressure over towards here. But chat, look at this. Look at the chamber. Pushes through the smoke. Gets full info. Knows they're not going, so we can have a bigger stack over towards C. They're gonna try to quickly flash out of this smoke with breach, and the smoke is deep, so Jack can smoke dash. We have a Tevin nade combo no potential. Necessary. And that's gonna be a problem, cause Jazzy can find Smurfet the utility, not there. But it's not just her. It was a paranoia from Cat to set all that up. They'll try and re-exec in. Jazzy has the Just too many Jack people here. In. The chamber owned it. Onto Nassi, well, Roxy has a kill on this lurk. It's only her. Her own team's wall in her face, a nade at her feet. She has to. Mel did. Mel did so good. Here, Mel got zero kills, but she was the reason they won this round. Is just on the other side as well. She's forced to take a 50 50 fight here. Does she pick Oh right? no, did I do it again? Okay, no. is correct, but Bob is there. Brady's that was nice. Good. Yeah, they Climb create fake A pressure a and Mel just there. walked through the I smoke. Guild, Full uh, vision, like no one went over towards short. Um, uh, just heavy stack over towards C, everyone in the right position. There, but Smurfette late on the smoke out. I think that was a big, big problem in the round. Like I said, the paranoia also solid, right? It really throws a wrench into the plans of Guild, but it's just not going to work. If you try to go into the C site, you know Katsumi is going to be there. Well, she has been a little quiet this Hey, game. money's really low for Guild. So good consistently on this map. Probably because they've never won. <laughs> that is, that is going to be such a... This could actually be the most dominant best of three from this tournament so far. It has potential. On the stinger for this one, as the, the chop has pushed up all the way into A lobby again. C9 love this position. They post Mel all the way forward, and then can play much more aggressively toward B and C. And that allows the rest of Cloud9 to so heavily fight for space. Jazzy, it feels like Jazzy always gets at least 50, maybe even 70 plus damage on that. Just nade every time. Holy hell. It's easy for Bob. As Mel's there to clean up. What's Mel is that fourteen to one is that fourteen to one for Bob? Nine. Mel and Bob with a full house right there, three and two. And can I just say, the way C9 are playing whenever they have that huge Damn. ultimate on Alexis, it's the pre-takes, right? They get on site, Guild get in there, but they can't plant because instantly that ult is ripping through. Bob's positioning is perfect, and it all is if you rewind back. Mel had the forward position Oy. down A long, so you have two players fast. ready to fight instantly on to B. That is not normal on this map. Usually you put a chamber trip there, maybe one player can sort of float around the area, but the way C9 are playing, they are just not giving room for Guild to breathe. <laughs> look at this buy. Chat, look at this buy. They're so done. And she's ready for it. Smurfette down. Recall smoke. Look at what's going on. Look at what's going on. 
this has been the setup so consistently for her. I mean, if just Mel can lock down A and just Cat can lock down they C, they fall by and, and they get go? two specters. I mean, they literally have a sheriff, the initiator players are a bulldog, and a vandal. That's yeah. I can't get over how mentally boomed they are. They're, they already had accepted it. It's just insta gone. It's, it's relatively useless until much later, I think, in the round if you do a bit of a deeper one, maybe in the post plant. Just to beat out the utility is we have Killjoy ult, off. Brim is perfectly holding on to the damage. Alex is ready. Ah, not gonna drop out of this one. Holy, holy. is there. <laughs> Three for her, Bob, her first. Alexis too close. Ouch. <laughs> Chai, they want it to be over, I'm telling you. They want it to be over. <laughs> Surely they don't buy again now. Uh, Did I actually feel bad? This feels right brutal. This feels like, um... Insane. This feels like, uh, you know what? We've seen this a couple um, times. like our game at Champs, where we lost to Ascent, no and it, to we, it felt like we went on the server. It feels like that. What a series from Cloud9. G2 is no slouch of a team. They looked fantastic. This is what it felt like, Bacon. This is this is what it felt like watching. No so joke, that's what it felt like it was team, watching. By the way, that felt Cloud9 by the transit yeah. property. This game should at least been, be close, <laughs> but Cloud9 is just that much better. Transit property, yeah, you know, I did my math homework, but I don't think it's going to come true in this one. Cloud9 White have just been too solid. There. Another four. <laughs> Another force. We get a no armor vandal by. Jet no armor. Go send it in with your no armor. Cloud9 have just been so thoroughly dominant over Guild. Nightfall to come out. Dude. Spot two players. <laughs> She's down to use the all back then. That makes them want to re-clear garage. Potential for a player to step on board. But Jazzykins is so confident. She just peaks window. Right? Like, how wild is that? Not even using a Prowl or a Boombot or anything like this to re-clear. No. She's just ready to take the fight if anyone was there. Again, the setup from Cloud9 means that there has not been any timings for Roxy to activate one of these lurks. Usually that's such a big piece of Guild's mid-round. Tell you what, this is a nice skill. setup for Chamber, though. If, you're, if you play Chamber a lot in, in ranked happened. whatever, this is nice. No way in. TP on top yeah. here, TP no over towards Heaven, and then you have the trip that's going to early info you here so that you can swing off it and kill one. Like, this is this setup is looks like it's always good for one. It's nice. Two players spotted. Okay. she's given her Opportunity. First well, that kill. doesn't. Armor wouldn't have solved that one, to be fair. Nice omen flash, though. Down on the lurk. Roxy, able to trade one back. No way it didn't hit back a sight. There's no way that doesn't hit back a sight. What's going on? She is unable to do it herself. Nine to two. Cloud nine refuse to relent. They just never give an opening to guild. No early fights that guild ever have a chance to win. The lurks shut down instantly. I think it was Alexis that time. Backside B shutting it down. Doesn't matter who it is from Guild trying to make it happen. And, and these entries from Smurfette too, every single time she's dashing forward, that's twice in a row she's been hit by a big piece of utility. She hasn't been able to dash into her smoke and actually get out to default on the site. Oh my god. Nothing Chaz, is working for Guild. Oh, it feels like this should be illegal to broadcast. It's so brutal. Another layer. You know, we talk about the bop. This is the Bowden coming on. If, if there was a, if you could forfeit in rank, in, in like, Something if you were allowed to forfeit, in. this feels like the closest I would ever see a team be tempted to okay. call it. In a, in well, a professional game. Let's see if Cloud9 will give anything away in this round. Because again, Guild is struggling to find... Like with, with some of the buys oh, wait, that I saw in the last three too. rounds there, okay. they've, they've accepted that this is done. Two guns, one shot, easy kill on Tanya. Garage is locked down by Bob. Guild have to look elsewhere. Actually, oh yeah, they so accidentally uh, did a forfeit right <laughs> once. <laughs> Enough to buy more yeah, it was them. In this one, get the whole package, the full loadout as well. The dash away from some fat is perfect. The knives are here. She was so good with them previously to get a third. Even on the Astra, this could work. Alexis is dead. They have the Killjoy alt. That could be. I mean, this is gonna work. Look at Ness. Look at Ness with the work up here. She finds an Holy opportunity. Hell. Finally, I, knew, I was nearly to gonna say this is gonna work, done. and then that followed it. Last round, the pieces are starting to fall into place. Bob 
Shut down, big kill for Claudia, only two run. for Cloud9. It's a pure chaos round. Mel with an opportunity, Jazzykins as well, starting to pitch down under the players Oi. of Gil, but Roxy okay. wins her fight. Okay, 9-3 cast. But Roxy finishes the job. Guild will not falter here. <laughs> get a third round before we go to Chat, the who's game. believing? I, I want to see it early on. How many believers have we got? Damn, they won, they won pistol when they got three rounds. With this kill from Ness, with this lurk finally being activated. It's huge for Guild. That's the thing, right? Throughout the half, they went uh, garage lurks, B lurks. None of these work. They went through. I Fox believe. And Claudia. Bendana. And we have one. We have what? We have one. It all comes. That's down pretty much it. Nine to three for Cloud Nine. Avas, Avas seven. We got like two believers that I see out of everyone. Corey Clap. Mimi and Ender is all three. Cloud Nine right now, but Kakuka Guild, they heard you. They won the pistol, but got everything else just Stefan, maybe. I actually wanted to take a look back at what happened at round two because this to me was the beginning of the end. We knew that Cloud Nine had had amazing results on this map already, but it's the balance of uh, the perfect balance that they found between going on for the retake and okay, actually, I respect that. Uh, uh, going in for the fights. On this second round, we I don't think, so well I think your money is it's safe. So important Put that to out there, Bendana. The next, uh, for the second round, even if you don't win the first one, because it can be the difference maker. We see Anya here trying to get the kills. Jassikins finds the first one with the nade. She gets another one just by the, the, the two kills. And all of uh, two kills out of utility, plus you good position and good timing on the retake and actually everything going at the same uh, pace opens a lot of, of windows of opportunity for you and given into what they did on the rest of the half i understand that they could be very glad this one this one is not a comp diff that is safe to say for this one nice we've got no excuses for this one this is just c9 nice being way hit. better really we're gonna need to see roxy carry on the second half defensively on haven she's the team's rock Kill, she is the best Killjoy in all of Game Changers. Someone can try to argue with me, but she's the best one. And on Haven here, we're going to need her defensively to bring them back into this. Oh, yeah, completely. We were talking about, you know, the stars that are shining on the first, side of First Cloud step Nine. is Pistol. She has to be one of the stopping powers on the side of Guild. If we even want to think about Game 3, again, it's elimination on the line. So if there is a moment to wake up, Guild, this is it. Well, Guild, they are staring down. Uh, they're on the precipice of getting eliminated here. They're staring down the barrel. Mimi and Ender, we got to see something more from them if they, if they want to stay in this tournament. Yes, we do, Sue. Cloud9 stars are shining bright. And right now, Guild needs to activate that as well. Roxy and Ness. The desk was talking about it. Roxy the Rock. They have a sixty seven percent defensive round win. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean gonna be the anchors as well. The they need a bit better than that, but there's some there's at least some right alright stats. Anchors, A N C three players a firing squad ready. As Merfed holds for Claudia to walk down mid. This could be big, but everyone from Cloud9 White right, with a ten second swing in to one for one trade to kick things off. A bit of a unique look with that late multi-swing. And that stun from Anya was really good. That's what canceled oh, yeah. that, that that additional turret, that additional kill from coming through for C9. Roxy gets shot at. Looking to re -peak Holy in, hell, you're crazy, these extra peaks. She got caught that by the so stun. She could be in trouble here. I'm not sure if there's time to get off the site. Support is inbound by Anya, but Roxy's going to have to fight this one. Trapped in the site, flash through, it's great onto Alexis, but no kill has come. Alexis alive for a little no too way. long. No way, Roxy there. survives Roxy that? For her is the one HP, doesn't matter, but Bob on the scene. Oh no. Sheriff in hand, a one versus two. <laughs> oh no. She's 19 and three. 100% the right call. Actually, Bob, piecing out entirely as well, was expecting the late flank to come in. But that actually got cancelled by Ness. With the numbers advantage, Guild making a very calm decision to group up with one another and make sure the trades come in because you give individual shots to Bob, she will win 30 them. 30 seconds left. Initially expecting a wave flank. Bob doesn't find it and pull up it all the way to the C site. Guild so far away, they're gonna have to fully rotate off this point. They're so Bob far away. The first half with 18 They get the info now. Here comes the instant rotate. That's positive 15 after 12 Where's Bob rounds. Gone? That is frankly disgusting and now Guild will have to shut it's her a plant for it's long. There was time to go favor. towards long. But she plays back aside, but she is facing them. Against these players. Guild Ooh. Needs this round. I mean, this they is hard to win. Yeah, yeah. And they won't allow it. Double swing from spawn. The share of shots miss. 
and Gil to claim a pivotal pistol round. They secured that pistol in the first half, and we remember what happened. Cloud9 okay, White that's the first step. Were able to that win is that. the first now, step. With a horse. Because they get the plant off, there is a choice now, a decision to be made with C9. I think with such an advantage, you probably don't go for that force, but at the same time, I don't know, because C9 White are so confident after this. So Rafet will get some back herself, but I'm seeing on my screen right now, C9 White are deciding to go for the force. This is not going to be an easy round for Guild to run away with. No, it will not be. Guild changed their setup for the second round. Both initiators towards A. Roxy using her utility to hold down mid and Smurfette allows they're to see the <laughs> They're trying to close it out. Trying to close it out now. Try and find something early as Mel goes Whoa. forward oh and no. finds a shot. Normally she only does that Holy when they out of C's nade, but here she gets a kill off of it. She gets the kill. No raise on the opposite side. And uh-oh, things are looking fairly similar okay. to the first it's half. What happened it's still round? not two too bad. Early pick with the, the whole line was held the whole time, so they know that no one went short. So they can kind of stack over towards C a little bit heavier. Astra's going to get good info there. I reckon like two or three came up from radar. So Killjoy might come in with. It's a nice nade back of sight. Nice nade back of sight. She was a little bit too much in front of the nade, so she had to kind of swing with it. Absolutely loving it. C9 White, big advantage here. Guild win two. both pistols and, 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 <laughs> and, <laughs> and lose the second round both what times. Do you even make happen? All four players of C9 White have actually completely abandoned the site. Utility. I have no. Okay. The, the only little bit of belief that I have is the smokes going down and then insta sticking the spike. Really have to do some kind of miracle. Claudia is going to be able to get half, maybe even a full. They're really this. committing for this. They do not have any eyes on the <laughs> I mean, fair play, they did it. That was the only way they were going to win it. They actually get the diffuse off. That was the only way. They didn't have the right guns to spam. That was the only way of doing it. Oh my god. Gil, collective sigh of relief. In the Red Bull clutch with that diffuse. Chat, I get a curse for that and I don't get the I don't get a bless for that? Chat. Chat, you lot need to behave yourself. What's going on? I don't get a bless for that. Usually Jets will just smoke and go for the diffuse themselves, but she was the one wanting to take the fight. She was the one wanting to stall out. I cursed it fast. Yeah, but then I raised it with a bless. I said the chat, I said the only way they can win it. Come on. You lot are you lot are on something today. Jeez, uh, it's deja vu. Where am I? Last time Guild was able to recover. The buy's not stellar for Cloud9. Only those two rifles saved from the last and... You didn't know that was a command? That's how little it happens. I've got to celebrate those moments. Coverage in Garage and on B site makes it easier to play a 4 versus 5 out because of the Killjoy, because of multiple pieces of static information utility. That's allowed them to sort of play 2 and 2, leave the middle of the map open, really stalling out, but that pull actually takes Jazzy away from the molly on the ground, so it will delay, but not lead to much damage at all. Oh no, she might do it again. Been holding towards a long, despite the loss of her teammate early. On the other side, you see Ness on this walk up. It could become a flank in the late round okay. here. There's so a trip in her path. Yeah, that's shooting it kind of acts like there's someone close because otherwise you normally leave it. Expedite on the flank. The fight doesn't end up happening, but so it didn't actually kill it. Going to as the repeat comes through from Gil. This is nice util. Are they? They are so delayed. You can tether this if you really want to face. Oh my goodness. Waiting for the utility to subside. Now they'll head back in. Paranoia for Katsumi. Both these players stuck close in aftershock. Give me a tether. The open. Where's the tether? Oh Claudia my goodness, the tether. The tether would have done so much. Did she do anything? Ten seconds. Needs to stay alive, but it's only one. <laughs> and that's alone. She's given away her position. Had to fall off of that flank. And now a one versus three. Ness has been so good in the clutches previously. Set up from C9. It was so damn good. She wins the Too first fight damage. against Chat, but down to 20 HP. Bob will finish the job and Holy send hell. C9 to 10. No, just just head on to the Teva for too much. Again, AOE Teva, 80 HP, done to all like done to all of them. That would have been perfect for the for the what they wanted to achieve here in terms of swinging. It's Mel getting these rounds started when she locks in this chamber. They held on to it until this moment. And it's like an ability that you don't need to hold that angle with to throw it. So yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a misplay. Try swinging her. Right, they keep giving her these fights down down A main. 
Oh no. Mel giving him an earful as well as they go for it again. There's the scouting, but opening up to maybe okay. take shots from her take has oh. knives. Knives out. And she's gotten these runs so close when she's had them before. There is a trip here. And all of Guild backing her up, pushing on forward. They're actually baiting If they shots, he's go really fast, they might be able to, I was going to say, there's a small window where it, it wouldn't connect. Spawn. Holy hell. Bob, Bob is 22 to 4. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's still a player in window, though. Anya's position is absolutely ridiculous for it to be there, but Jazzykins is still clearing it and all the way the around. Oh, my goodness. Her raised micro is just so good. Bounces Anya away. Alexis ah, takes dumb. the kill. Bob has another. Perfect work from Cloud9. And a prime gaming flawless to boot. Another multi kill for Bob. <laughs> Bob just on a the KD plan. must be insane. Right now, cruising through guild. 24 to 4, fade or up. Fan, you didn't watch a lot of NA. Guild's last chance, and really, on, with this one. Lose to G2, you start feeling real confident about Guild, but it goes to show that C9, when, when you deliver a wound, when you wound them, they just become way more fierce. This lower bracket, they are just taking completely seriously. And Guild have only been able to amass eight rounds across these first two maps. Went a bit faster for C9. Four players, bottom C long, spotted out by Claudia. So Smurfette here to support, but there's really no stall utility on this one. They just have to swing for the fights, and Pat lines them up. That's, a two game yeah. for the Omen, and a site for Cloud9. That's unless Ness can do something. Astro Joe is really important. Side, but Alexis, ready for it. It's unlucky. Alexis might keep going here. I don't know for a second. Breach. I, I mean, two really good ults for the retake, but the damage is still here. So the killjoy ult won't get too much until this breach gets killed. Need to swing this. It's the breach. You can kill it. Okay, now the ult is viable. Get yeah, the ult's down. On the angle again, Mel. There, it's a crossfire, and it can't be broken. Cloud Nine, keep it going. This is. This is so dominant. <laughs> Chad, this is so dominant. Holy hell. Guild gets so close so often in some of these rounds, but C9 absolutely running them over. Katsumi shows up in a massive round. And Cloud9 in this lower bracket look awoken. When they lose a match, they get better. And they prove it again here, looking incredible versus Guild. Shopify All five on the other side. It feels like destiny for Cloud9 to win. This. I mean, just waiting for that NA NA rematch. Ah, uh, and they knew the peak was coming. Chad, look at them. There's four of them here. Five ultimates. There's four of them waiting for, for this peak. Nine white. Everything is stacked. The odds. I can't get over Mel is Mel's own them. Over towards Roxy's site. She has been a hero for the Gil. whole game. It just feels like they they kn they knew everything that was happening. She wants to fight though. She, she knows she it. needs it. Fracture was a calling masterclass. Something for the hometown hero. This is very similar. Look at that. Just posting Anya up in window. She's not over. This one. This, time around, this one was a bit more. Uh, if she can hear rotation, if she can this hear one was a little bit more of just any individuals popping as well, to be fair. Claudia has a cat, though. If she could clear out Bob, she could show the intention of Cloud9. She's suspicious of it, but not committing any utility just yet. With all the quiet, Roxy is Guild don't change much on Haven? Yeah, it's looking like that. It's looking like... In a solid position, and the jump peak sees ahead. Hey, Guild know here. exactly what's going on. Fatal for C9 fatal. are making it look easy. And now that I'll utility that up, yeah. coming in, they're trying to make this flank happen here. Trying to stall out. Katsumi, though, just ults into the back lines. Sight taken. Guild conceding. It's going to be a retake. And look at the ults for Cloud9. Breach the post has damage. This isn't a weird spot, though. I don't think no, so. it's not breakable by any piece of It's not, uh, not going to get anything. All it does is force them over towards back of sight. Do they have anything to combo this with? Not really. Roxy could go huge. She could. She's on the angle. Oh, what an important What an important shot. Alt in cat for a second, and it's only Ness. This one might just be on her grasp, but she'll swing out. She'll spot two. They line oh. up, but she can't find the shot. TV's <laughs> away. Chad, nothing is going. There is nothing going right. Continues to tick. Absolutely Cloud nothing. Continues to hold the high low setup. And that's just waiting for Damn. the inevitable. Dominant. Cloud Crazy nine dominant. Ones. Nice for arm. Nice from C9. Another match against Shopify They're looking Rebels. really good. In the battle of NA1 versus EMEA1.